Hey lovelies, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. So today I am going to be doing a review on the new, <laughs> picking up the wrong one, the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette subculture. There is a true murder going on about this palette at the minute. It's not a good time. I've used it. I couldn't wait for the video. I know I really should have. But I tried it twice. But I'm going to do a look. I had it on today. And I just wiped it off to do another look for the video. So you can see what they're like going on. What they're like blending. All of that. And if things are as bad as they seem. I have the modern renaissance and like anyone that knows me knows that this is like my go-to like my go-to palette i love it everything about it it's actually it looks rotten it's used that much like i'm hitting pan on some of the shades i love it i will repurchase this for the rest of my days like do you know what i mean i love it so good so as you can imagine if you love this you're super hyped for this like when i seen this I was like, give me it. I literally spent the entire day that this was coming out refreshing the website every half hour to make sure like I didn't miss the launch because they weren't telling us the time and then they told us the time and then <laughs> you can bet your arse that I was on the site and it took me 55 minutes yeah, to get this palette or an hour, 55 minutes to an hour to get this because the website kept crashing and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be gone. I'm not gonna get it. I get sorry that we're never going to make it again, but I got it. I literally put it into my basket so many times and it just kept getting black screen. I was like, oh, please. So when I got it, I was so, so fucking excited. I was like, yes, yes, bitch. So I was dying for it to come. Dying for it to come. And if you've watched any of the reviews, a lot of people aren't happy with it. Which is sad times because, you know, as I said, so many people love this. But we shall, I'm going to swatch them for you on my arm. I can't, it's so awkward because it'd be so much easier to swatch here, but I can't because I have tattoos. So I will just swatch, I think, the front of my arm here. Okay, so I've swatched them all and I've also noticed that I am the most awkward person at doing swatches. Like I realised I started too low down my arm and now they're on my hand. <laughs> we have the swatches starting here. You can't really see a uh, cube. At all. Like if you move it, you can kind of see a pinky shimmer off it. This is pigmented as fuck. This is a dorm. Like they're all fucking pigmented. The, what's this one called? Electric doesn't really show up that much either. These are two duochrome colours. So that could be why. And I didn't wet my finger before I done them. So that would probably help. And the rest are all super pigmented okay so i have um put concealer on my eyes to prime them and set it with powder as i normally would for any eyeshadow look and you get this little the usual little anastasia brush that you get in the palette i love these brushes and um, for my under eye and for blending it as well they're really good usually i don't use brushes or palettes but this one is good it's the same as the other one so I'm just going to clean this up for my swatches and then I'm just going to show you me touching a few colours. I know there's been a lot of talk about, um, there's been a lot of talk of fallout so I'm just going to touch a few colours with my brushes just to show you so as I'm going in with them like. So I am going to go in with New Wave which is this one here and I'm just going to But there is, you can see the fallout there. So it is, there is quite a bit of fallout, but I mean, every eyeshadow has fallout. Some more than others. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking the plastic off the mirror. So, so sore. 
So I'm going to use this just on my edges there. I'm just going to use it in a bit. Like you don't mind if this fall out if, um, if the shadows are pigmented, you know? It just means that you're wasting a lot of product, I suppose. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with my eye, I'm just gonna go with it and see how it turns out. I'm gonna try and use as many of the colours as I can without making it look rotten, obviously. Like it is pigmented, you cannot lie. It is. This is blending out quite well. I know I've said I've used it twice, but it was before work yesterday. So I was in a rush, so I didn't really have time to be like, oh well, yeah, this and that and that. It was just like a little quick look because so many people in work were like, that's so culture palette, is it? Yeah, what do you think about it? I was like, yeah, it's great. But like, I feel bad because I didn't get to try it properly before I answered you, so I hope you've watched this video. I'll go back and tell them and anyway if I've changed my mind after spending a bit of time with it. I don't like to just use it and be like, nah, I don't like that. Or like, read all these reviews and be like, oh, it's obviously shit, everyone's saying it's shit. I'm like a try it for myself kind of gal and see how I get on, you know? You literally just have to tap it to get colour. I did take a picture earlier on of the follow of New Wave when I was doing my makeup earlier on just to send to one of the girls, but I will insert it here. So that just gives you a little idea of what the follow is like. Yeah, I try not to be swayed before I do, like give my own review on something. Like, but there's so much going on all over Twitter, like, this palette's crazy, like. They're giving them such a hard time, like, they are a great brand, I love them, like. Everything else I've gotten from them, I absolutely love. So maybe it's just the booboo. -boo. I know everyone's gone mad, though, because they've spent so much money. So that's a new wave on its own. I'm gonna go in with... I'm gonna go in with Roxy now. Yeah, so a bit of follow on that as well. But nothing too crazy. I love the yellow tones in this, like that's what had me most excited when I seen the palette. And the like khaki colours. Khaki, khaki, whatever you call it. I call it khaki. So I'll just move in a bit closer just so you can see what's going on at the moment. There's like, there's like, like a little line. As I'm blending, like it's just creating a line that has nothing on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. That could be down to my um. That could be down to my concealer not setting up with powder or something. But usually it always does. I can't see it being that. Oh my god! I just nearly let the whole thing fall. I wanted to catch that on camera. My face, I just scraped my leg with it as well. Ow. I'm gonna go in with electric now, but for any 
find a colour like this I would always wet my brush with setting spray so I'm just gonna wet it I'm just gonna spray it on my hand and then rub the brush in it I find that sometimes this is better than just spraying on the brush which could be just me being strange but the brush is all coated I'm using the brush that came with the palette for this there's no fallout on this like on and you can see my brush is coated no fallout on like electric and I noticed with cube earlier on when I was using it there was no fallout on that either or a drawing so it just seems to be the mattes these are so fucking pigmented when they're wet like when I done the swatches on my arm no it didn't didn't do them any justice I love this colour I hope that colour is picking up the way I'm seeing it in my mirror. So Joe comb me. I'm gonna go in with All Star just to darken up my edges a bit. Yeah. Like the colour. It just coats your brush so easy but you can see yourself that there is Follow the follow that everyone is going crazy about. It's a bit hard to blend this colour out. It just seems to be sitting there, not budging. dark as well like it's gonna get a different brush to try and blend it but it's like it's like it's going really dark there compared to like you can see the original colour there, but once I'm blending it, it's just gone really, really, like much darker than the actual colour was, maybe. I don't know. It's what's that word? When it oxidises. What's the word? Maybe that's just how it oxidises. It is very dark though. It's only gone black in certain parts. Like really dark. I don't know. I can't wait until I have my new camera so that you can see in better detail what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> this bit is really annoying me. I feel like just wiping it all off. I think I just put too much on, like being honest. If you're new to my channel, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a girl who likes makeup. Try and make about reviewing it. Usually I wait and see reviews before I buy some stuff, like, do you know what I mean? But this is only being reviewed by everyone, it seems like, in the past two days. And I've already had it. I've had it since Monday. It came Monday. I ordered a tourist, it came Monday. Today is Wednesday. And it seems everyone's just reviewing today and yesterday. Like, all the reviews are gone up. So, of course I couldn't wait for it. Because I was like, it's going to be the same as Modern Renaissance. It's going to be fab. But the colours are a lot harder to blend than the modern renaissance. I am finding that. Like they are pigmented as, as fuck. Pigmented as fuck. And I'm going to do like a comparison in follow in a minute. Because that seems to be the major thing with this. That everyone's going crazy about. And usually I don't care if something has follow once it's pigmented. But at the same time you are losing a lot of product. So it is a bit of a downfall. And I don't... I, I don't like that colour, like it's just not blending out properly. <laughs> I 
Right, move on, Sophie, move on. Move on. I'm gonna take Destiny under my eyes. Yeah, draw that again. It's all the mats I have for them. As I'm rubbing it on, it's just flying off the brush. Like literally, I can just see the powder moving everywhere. And I'm not beating the brush into the pan. Like I'm not rubbing it really hard. As you can probably tell, I've just been swiping it across. I don't know if you can even see the father. But it is a crazy amount. Take Untamed. Move my eyes up. So pigmented. Oh, fuck a lot of all that I kick back on my face. Okay, the colour I was most excited for as well was, apart from the yellows, was this tra translucent, no Sophia, geochrome colour uh, cube. I seen Norvina using it with a wet brush and putting it on and it just looked the prettiest pink colour like ever on the inner corner. So I am going to do that with this look. I'm just cleaning this brush. I'm using that again with some setting spray. Taking on the tip, tip of the brush. And going into cube. It's really pink. It doesn't pop as much as I wanted it to, but it is there, isn't it? Maybe if I just blur the fuck out. It's gonna be amazing. It is really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go and fix my brows and put mascara on, and I will be back in a sec with my final thoughts on the palette. So, I'm gonna take a brush and compare the follow. Don't mind the dirt of this, like it's, it's being used to death. Just gonna take the brush that's in it. I'm going to say love letter. Like there is fallout, but it's just not as intense. Like it doesn't fall down here. Like all the other colors are falling down on each other, and like it's coated. It's not that pink. <laughs> it's pigmented as well. Like, but it's just not as bad. The fallout was just not as bad. Um, I went to Rilger. A bit of falling, nothing major. The fallout on subculture is different, definitely, definitely worse than it is on this one. And if you look at the ingredients on the back of both of them, the first ingredient in this is Mika, and apparently, I don't know, I've just been hearing this on Twitter and everything. That's like one of the powdery things basically whereas this one doesn't have it the first one on this is talc like whereas Mika I think there is talc in this one yeah the first one on this is talc and there is no 
Mika, whatever that is. Apparently it's something that makes it not as follow-y. So maybe that's why, because they changed their formula. Said now I am going to go and put mascara on and stuff and then give my final thoughts because that's what I was meant to do. But I have to delete stuff to make space on my memory card for this and then forgot I was meant to be doing that. I'll be right back. So here is the final eye look. I do love electric and cube. I don't know if you can see the shift in colour on camera. You should be able to but I don't think you can. I didn't like how hard All Star the wine colour was to blend and how it went a bit darker as it met other colours. Which is a bit weird. It was really hard to blend that out though. Like it's gone like a brownie colour. I didn't pop brown near my eyes though. So do I like the palette? Yeah I do. But I don't love it. And I'm actually heartbroken by that. Like I really am heartbroken by that. Because I just thought I was going to be as in love with this as I am with Modern Renaissance. And I thought it was going to be like I'd have two go to palettes for two completely different looks. But I don't see me reach. I'm just feel like I won't reach for this as much as I do the other one. I do love the colours though, they are grey. But I just, the amount of fallout is a bit crazy. If you're going to buy this, you're going to buy it anyway. That's the way I was with it. Even if I had seen reviews, I probably was going to buy it anyway because I love Modern Renaissance so much. And if you do, I think you're going to want to buy it and try it anyway. I am happy that I got it and it's in my collection and I was able to try it for myself and not just read all this shite and be like oh my god it's so shit and I'm not saying Anastasia Beverly Hills is shit because they are so far from it it's ridiculous obviously they just changed their formula or whatever and it's not working as well it's just the blend the blend in like I don't care about the fallout really as I said how many times I've said that now the only part I care about is when you think about it are losing products but I mean if it works, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. So the only thing for me, really, like my major meh, is the blending and the like changing of colour. I know things oxidise, but to go from wine to like a brown is strange. I don't know why I'm holding my arms like this. I will use it. I will play with it more and hopefully create some bam looks. But for now, I'm just not happy with the blending. The blendability. Is that a word? It is now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you, if you have any questions about the palette, get at me in the comments or DM me over on Instagram. I'll leave all my handles down in the description box. I got this on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. I will leave the link for it down below if you want to get it and try it yourself. I mean, try it if you want, do you know what I mean? And I said Beauty Bay, Go Beauty, Beauty Bay, one of them, <laughs> got it today and so you can order from there as well so I'll leave the two links, the two links, the two links <laughs> down below for you. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell button down there if you want to be notified every time I upload. As always, thanks for watching, it means the world and I will see you all again soon with another video. Bye.